Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us now try to understand the concept of inverse proportion. We have already discussed that two quantities may change in such a manner that if one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. For example, we have discussed that if the number of workers are increased to complete a com particular work, then the time taken to finish that job will be decreased. Similarly, if we increase the speed of a vehicle, then the time taken to cover a given distance will decrease. In such situations, we can say that speed of the vehicle and time are two inversely proportional quantities. To understand the concept even better, let's take an example. A school wants to spend rupees 6000 on books. Now let us consider that if one book costs rupees 40, then how many books can we purchase? If cost of one book is 40 rupees, then we can buy 6000 by 40 equal to 150 books. But if the cost was 50 rupees, the cost of one book is equal to six, 50 rupees. Then, how many books can we buy? 6000 divided by 50. And this will come out to be 120 books. That means, as the cost of the book is increasing, the number of books that we can purchase is decreasing. So the cost and the number of books, cost and the number of books that we can purchase are inversely proportional. So now it's time to construct a table between price of the book and number of books. Let us construct a table between price of the book and the number of books. Let us change the price of the book and find out values for the number of books that we can purchase in 6000 rupees it will come out to be 150 we have already calculated 120 then similarly calculate for 60 it will come out to be 100 books for 80 it will come out to be 75 books and for 100 it will come out to be 60 books here we can observe that as the price per book is increasing the number of books that we can purchase are decreasing let us now try to find the ratio by which the price of the books increases. Let us take the ratio between these two prices. We have 40 is to 50 and that will be same as 4 is to 5 which is the ratio between price of the books. Similarly, let us try to find the ratio between number of books. Then this will come out to be 150 is to 120. Let us try and solve it. We will get 3 5s of 15, 3 4s of 
3 for the 12 and hence 5 is to 4 is the ratio for number of books. And this clearly shows that ratio between price of the books and number of books are inverse of each other. We can also notice from the table that the product of two corresponding values say 40 and 150 will give us 40 into 150 is equal to 6000 and similarly 50 into 120 will give us 50 into 120 is also equal to 6000 that clearly means that product of the corresponding values is constant value so let us come to more general form of inverse proportion let us consider any two quantities x and y such that if one increases then the other one decreases and let us construct a table between x and y and let the values be x1, x2, x3 and so on and the corresponding values be y1, y2, y3 and y4 and so on then we have come to the conclusion that x1, y1 is some constant value similarly x2 into y2 x2 into y2 has to be some constant value and so on so finally x1 y1 will be same as x2 into y2 will be same as x3 into y3 and it will all be same constant so now we are in a position to discuss that if x and y are inversely proportional then if x increases then y will decrease or vice versa that means if x will decrease then y will have to increase second point is that if the two quantities x and y will be inversely proportional if there exists a relation such that x into y will give us some constant value and thirdly we will get x1 y1 equal to x2 y2 and this can be further written as x1 by x2 is equal to y2 by y1 so now we have these three conditions which are to be satisfied if x and y are inversely proportional